Hi, I'm Erica Naone. I'm an IT editor with Technology Review, and I'm here to show you this month's hack. For the hack this issue, we looked at a DIY platform called the Arduino, uh, which has been really at the forefront of helping people design and build their own hardware, whether those are hobbyists, artists, or people with more of a technical background. The Arduino is uh, an open source hardware platform that can be used to control all kinds of other devices. It can control LEDs, it can control motors, or something more complex such as a robot or household appliance. Um, one of the things that makes it unique is it's pretty inexpensive and you can very easily hook it up to your computer and use a simplified programming language to, uh, to talk to it. It was designed by a team in Italy they still manufacture official versions of it. This is one of them. It's called the Arduino Uno. Its core is this microcontroller right here, which is really doing most of the heavy lifting. It's what allows me to program it. I can use a, the Arduino programming language, which is a simplified version of C, to write programs that will tell the Arduino how to control something else that I've hooked up to it. So I'll be showing today some things about how the Arduino itself works, and then I'll show a couple of very simple demonstrations of what you can build with it. The Arduino has these pins. Um, these pins are used to connect it to external devices, such as LEDs, motors, what have you. Um, some of them are digital, meaning they're just turned on or turned off, and some of them are analog, meaning they can control a device through a, a range of intermediate values. Um, there are some analog pins over here as well. This uh, USB interface right here means that I can just take this and plug it straight into my computer um, from which I can upload programs that I've written for it. So what I'm about to do is another simple demonstration of how the Arduino works. I'm going to use a circuit that's been designed by other people, freely available online through a Creative Commons license. It's um, the, from the Arduino Experimenter's Guide. And it's a circuit that's going to control some LEDs. So here I have the Arduino, which is actually going to control the LEDs that I connect to it. And this is a solderless breadboard, which means that I can set up circuits here and they're very easy to set up and take apart because I don't have to do any soldering, I don't have to do any permanent attachments. I can just poke them into the holes that are here. So I'm going to use this piece of paper to guide me as I uh, attach as I connect the wires it'll help me see how to connect them. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put in the LEDs. These are uh, just going to light up once I once I start the programs. Next thing I'm going to do is just put in some resistors. What they do is they control how much power the LEDs are drawing from the Arduino. The Arduino is powered by my computer right now or it will be when I plug it in and if it pulls too much power, it could fry the, the board. So these resistors keep the LED from pulling too much power. So that's all our components. Now I'm going to connect the wires. And then um, I'm going to connect each of the LEDs to a pin. The pins in the Arduino um, are really kind of how it communicates with the, outer, the outside world. So these pins are going to be the way that I give it commands. It's going to be telling each of these pins when the device should be on, when it should be off. Um, the Arduino's pins can both be output, they can, they can give commands to some external device, or they can be input, uh, meaning they can receive information from sensors. So in this case, we'll be configuring these pins to be output and telling them to turn these LEDs off and on in certain patterns. And then just to demonstrate, the pins can also simulate being analog. They use something called pulse width um, modulation, which turns the power to LED on and off so quickly that it seems to simulate an intermediate value. So this is built. So now what I need to do is give it, uh, give it instructions to control these LEDs. So the first thing I'm going to do is just load a standard program for controlling these LEDs. So when it's loading, you can tell that it's working because you see some lights flashing on the board itself, and then it starts to control the LEDs. So in this case, as you can see, it's just telling these LEDs to um, light up in this simple animation where they go to the outside and come in. 
so this programming language is pretty easy to, to modify. So I wrote um, a modified version of this program, which just changes the animation. So I'm going to load that program, which uh, they tend to call them sketches for Arduino. I'm going to load that program, and you'll see that the pattern of the lights changes. So I just clicked Upload, and now it's transferring the data to the Arduino. And now I've programmed the lights to turn on in a different pattern. So they're moving into the middle and then turning off altogether. Now I told you that I'd demonstrate how the pin 9 LED can be treated as analog. So I also have a program that can do that. Um, so what I'll do is the other pins will light up one by one, and the analog pin will fade in. So I'll upload that program for you. So what's happening here is that each of these lights is lighting up, and as each light illuminates, uh, this one gets brighter. This is our analog pin, so you can see that it's going from off to steadily brighter. So what I've shown you here today are some very simple programs that are really toy applications, you know, just making lights blink. But obviously you can get much more complicated with what you tell the Arduino to do. Certainly a lot of hobbyists are using it to learn about electronics, but um, companies are using it to control medical devices, to connect it to robots, it can be used to control that type of device, um, it can be used for all kinds of experimentation. So the Arduino can be used in a much more sophisticated way than what we've demonstrated here today.